Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Glantane. Thanks for checking out this week's review. Hopefully you're seeing a little bit of an increase in the audio quality. My, uh, my wife very helpfully pointed out that the fact I couldn't find the plug for the refrigerator wasn't because it was buried way behind the refrigerator down near the floor, but because it was plugged into an outlet that I would have never suspected it was. So, um, yeah, thanks babe. Um, Hopefully that buzz isn't coming through on this clip. So uh, this week we're going to check out a whiskey. Hit me up down below with a like and a share if you're getting any value out of these videos. Hopefully you are. This one is uh, from one of my favorite distillers, Lefroy. It's a Scotch whiskey in Scotland. They just call it whiskey. Here in America it's Scotch or Scotch whiskey. Um, this is their Cerdais. I, I probably mangling that pronunciation and I apologize 200th anniversary edition now my um, brother-in-law is actually from Scotland my wife's sister's husband and um, apparently I've been pronouncing the region incorrectly uh, as written it's Isla uh, I was pronouncing it Isla after looking up online apparently it's closer to Ili and I'm probably still getting that wrong but um, I wasn't raised with the accents. Yeah, my brother-in-law also uh, rather helpfully pointed out that Cerdeus is also some, a word that means uh, alliance or friendship. Yeah, the 200th anniversary edition, I guess they do this particular um, uh, take on it, uh, not necessarily every year, but every few years. I noticed it on the, the website when I looked it up. Um, but basically what they did is they selected the finest malt from the floor maltings, which uses a cold smoke process to import unique peaty flavors into the malted barley and then distilled using only small pot stills, the, uh, the same type that would have been used over a century ago and then um, that was matured in their oldest warehouse right next to the sea. So that should be really interesting because one of the things I really like about the Lafroy, in addition to all the other Islay malts, um, is that it does have that hint of the sea in it. Uh, it's hard to describe if you've never had it before, but there's a little bit of saltiness and just the smell and, and the taste of the sea air uh, right there in the whiskey. And it's one of my favorite things. So without further ado, it's enough talking about it. Let's get it out and check it out. One thing you'll always find in one of these is a little booklet with a unique number on the back. Make sure you go to the Lefroy website, um, specifically friendsoflefroy.com. Sign up, register. You redeem these little certificates uh, for points towards frequent buyer club stuff like the Friends of Lefroy uh, nosing glass. I sent away for my 200th anniversary one the other day. It was free. I only had to pay for the shipping because I had enough points. And it also uh, is basically a deed to one square foot of land where they harvest the peat. Uh, if you ever visit the distillery, they'll actually take you out there, loan you a pair of boots, they'll let you um, dig up some peat that they'll use to roast the malt, and you'll also get a little bit of rent from them for your square foot of land in the form of a dram of scotch. So. Just a little bonus incentive. If for nothing else, if you're not planning a trip overseas, at the very least, get those points and get the freebies because they are kind of awesome. Glassware, um, there's some uh, some apparel as well worth looking into. Just a little plug for that and a heads up. So I'm a little disappointed that we don't have the traditional green bottle because I do really like the uh, the Lafroy green bottle, but contents are what's important and I'll keep it in this to keep the light away from it. I'm going to open this bad boy up. One thing to remember with any whiskey is once it's been opened it will start to oxidize whether you keep it corked, sealed up in, in any way, shape or form or not. Oxygen is going to get in there and change the flavor. So uh, don't leave it sitting around for too long. Finish it up. This one probably won't last very long. It usually doesn't. It's rather pleasant. Right off. It's 
we're going to leave that up. Give it a little room to breathe. Sticking to the glass very well. It's got nice, uh, I know the wine term is legs, and apparently it is for beer as well. I seem to think there's something different for whiskey, but it does adhere very well. It's taking a long time to run back down. Very clear, though, uh, where it's adhering. Very little color to it at all. It's actually a quite pale whiskey as, as it is, if you look down in here. Not a very strong aroma compared to what I'm, I'm expecting from Lafroy. Usually it, it, it kind of smacks you a little bit in the face as you're nosing it. There's that slight hint of, of sea air and just saltiness that I really like. It doesn't make me think of sitting on a beach though. It makes me think of a nice rocky coastline and, and maybe some big ships sailing. Just kind of conjures those images. It goes down pretty rugged, which is what I expect from the Lafroy. <clears throat> Um, it's pretty strong tasting. I don't think it's actually that strong. I think it's 51.5, so a little over 100 proof, which does make it fairly, <clears throat> fairly rugged. And you can tell. Mmm. Might not be much in the aroma that hits you up front, but it smacks you around pretty good when you put it in your mouth. Um, I'm actually already starting to feel a little bit of the effects, maybe because I took a <clears throat> took it pretty quickly there. Definitely not one that you're going to shoot or gulp. It's worth savoring. Uh, like I said, it is very strong. It's maxi around a bit to begin with. But as it settles on the tongue, you get that reminiscent reminiscence of the sea. I don't know any other way to, to really describe it. I mean, it's definitely a whiskey. It's a pretty potent blend. And uh, the peatiness is there. There's the, the taste of the wood from the barrels but mostly you get that salt air aroma and taste it's almost like standing on a rocky shoreline i know i mentioned that before but that's really the best way for me to describe it um honestly i'm 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 not getting any other really strong notes from it. I mean, just the mild peatiness, the mild uh, oakiness. I believe it's oak barrels that they utilize. Um, but that just that woody taste and uh, that overall sea spray, sea air. Um, sometimes with the other blends of Lafroy, <clears throat> I get some more subtle notes like uh, caramel or uh, vanilla or even some some fruity notes but this one's just on us down to the peat the barrels and then the sea air and that's it so honestly for me this is really the essence of what i really like about this whiskey and nothing else um there's no other subtle notes coming through for me it's just kind of stripped down to what i really like about it so for me this is a winner um, I would definitely recommend that if you're a fan of Scotch whiskeys, whiskeys in general, or especially if you like the Lafroy, if you can find a bottle of this in your area, grab a hold of it. Ooh, pardon me, and check it out. Hit me up down in the comments in the, uh, the email link down below. Let me know if you agree or you disagree. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Um, till then, folks. Cheers. <laughs>